This is Vegan Glory and this is the original restaurant and what it looks like and we are going to do the grass wall right on this wall here. We're also going to decorate a few other things in the restaurant but my main focus in this video is how we made the green wall. So the wall was painted white the day before so let's go in and let's see how it's looking and then we can plan out how we want the plant wall to look. This was the reference image for the plant wall that the owner sent me. She loved how asymmetrical it was and how full the plant areas look. So we're going to use this as inspiration. So right now I'm just planning where the neon sign will go and also how the greenery would look around it. I really didn't have to paint the wall green but we wanted to do this just in case the white paint showed underneath the grass wall that we were going to put. So we just did this as a safety measure but it's not necessary. So as the paint was drying we headed down to downtown LA which has the best the most amazing fake plant store that you could ever imagine. It's like this huge, huge, huge warehouse and they have all of the plants you could ever imagine and it's so affordable. Look, look at all this greenery. There's just so many types and this place is like a warehouse. It's huge and there's so many succulents too. So you're really in for a treat if you come here to find any type of fake plant. This is the place to go. This is the place to go. We also bought these grass wall pieces that were going to be the base of the whole wall and we're going to just stick all the plants within this. These were $4 each. i seen on Amazon they're in the hundreds. So if you want a good deal, go to downtown LA and get these yourself if you want to save that cash. Here are some close-ups of some of the plants that we bought. There's so much variety. Oh my god, like succulents, these, I don't know berry thingies all different shapes and sizes all different leaves textures everything it's just perfect for a plant wall and come on now my nails are so cute too cute for me not to show you gotta see these nat did them they're amazing and here is nat herself zip tying those grass walls together so basically these grass walls are gonna be our foundation we're gonna zip tie them together so when they go on the wall they're gonna go on the wall as one and then we're gonna stick all the plants within them okay so now the grass walls have been zip tied looking real good i'm just going to organize the plants and pop them out of their stems they're actually they these plants these fake plants they all can pop out of their stems is what i've noticed so i'm just gonna take the label off and get them ready so i can start inserting them in the grass wall like i'm doing here i'm just kind of testing out the textures like in the reference image i saw we want to make the grass wall full we want there to be variety we want there to be color so we're just you know pimping that grass wall out so this is an example of how it could look okay so now you get the idea but I was told we were going to put this up with a staple gun. And you know, when people say staple gun, I thought it, you know, just the hand one, no electricity necessary. And then I see this machine. This is a staple gun and this is going to staple the wall down so firmly and it's so loud, but it really got the job done, like for real. So after the main bit of grass wall is up, I'm then going to zip tie the rest on. And I did this so I could see where else we needed to add more grass. And then we had a lunch break and then I had mango and sticky rice and it was so good. And anyway, after I finished that, we put the neon sign up. From then on, we could stand back and see how many more green wall pieces that we needed and also where we were gonna cut them. So once we did this, we were then able to start adding the succulents, the other plants and kept building, standing back, looking, building and building and building as we go. And as I said before, the actual succulents and the plants that we got, not the grass wall, the plants, they could pop out of their stems for the most part. So we didn't need to staple everything on, just the big pieces, which means the grass wall and like the huge succulents. But the small flowers and leaves, you could actually pop them on the grid of the grass wall itself. So if you go, I wish I took a video of this, but if you look deeper in the grass, it's actually a grid with like little, little like, 
like um, nipples <laughs> and you could stick the flowers and leaves on these like little nipple things but anyway the wall is finally done and i'm going to turn on the neon light the neon light was bought from etsy and oh my god doesn't it look so cute So that's it everybody, this is the final grass wall in the restaurant. I think we did a pretty good job for it being our first one. So if you want to see more crafty, arty, creative videos, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and I don't even know what it will be because I don't even know what I'm going to make next but I'll see you later. Bye!